Are you ready to work that phone? Hey, Mike Lyon here. Yes, uh, I'm rocking my Zach Morris uh, brick phone. Listen, you know, in, in the online world and generating all these leads, the phone is one of the most powerful tools that you can use, and it's a great money-making activity, and it's really a challenge sometimes to create that likability over the phone. And in this series, we're talking about like, creating likability, being likable over the phone and email. And so I want to break down the phone into really two parts because I think it's so important. Um, you know, when I first started in the real estate business and I was working a lot of those phone leads, uh, it was really eye-opening when I recorded myself. That's why I asked you guys to do that last uh, in the last video segment as a homework assignment because once you hear yourself and you hear that conversation, you can see those opportunities to improve. And I want to talk about two of the primary ones here today. Now, let's go beyond the common tips. You can Google this anywhere. And, and see this, you know, smiling when you're on the phone because that comes over the phone, how you sound sitting up straight or getting up and walking around so that energy and enthusiasm comes through over the phone. All of those types of things are, you know, kind of standard issue. I want to move into some of the things that I see because I get to listen to hundreds and hundreds of phone calls every single year as we do training. Um, and we hear a lot of the common themes popping up. So I want to talk about two of those here today. The first one, and I think it's so critical, is using somebody's name. Too often we get on that call and either we're, we get it, we're not ready for it, or we get uh, the customer going and we just jump right into talking with that customer and we forget to slow down, ask for the customer's name and even the contact information and use their name multiple times in the call. This is a skill that takes time to implement, but I'm telling you it's one of the greatest ways that you can build rapport. Using their name multiple times in that call, uh, it just sounds good and you know there's that old quote that there's nothing sweeter sounding uh, than hearing your own name back to you. So I, I believe that's really true over the phone and it just shows that you care. So that's a big tip that, that we often don't see uh, when we hear people talking on the phone. The second thing is what I call the conversation pendulum. Okay, here's how the conversation pendulum works. Uh, in most situations, in fact, in a lot of the situations, what we usually see is um, you will talk too much. If you're talking with a prospect, you will talk way too much, even if they're asking questions. And so we want to really make sure we've got that conversation pendulum going. We're not sitting there feature dumping over the phone and, and you know, hogging too much of that phone time. So even if they're asking specific questions, your goal is to answer that question and then ask a question in return. That's the pendulum swinging back and forth. You want to see 50-50 time um, between the prospect and you talking on the phone. This is absolutely huge. Uh, sometimes even when you get excited, you'll talk over a customer. It's hard to know if they have any more questions because you can't see them and you get, can't get that visual feedback. If you're paying attention to that pendulum, take the time to slow down, ask a question, take a breath and make sure that they're done. And when you do that, you've got that good cadence on the phone call and they're going to hang up and their feedback is going to be, wow, that person really what? That person really listened. That person really cares. I really like them, right? Because most of the time they're just looking for good feedback and affirmation to the information that they may have already received somewhere else. Your job is to build that rapport. So two of those quick tips, I'm going to talk about some more things in the next video that you can do over the phone to really be more likable. So tune in for the next video and be sure if you haven't signed up for the email newsletter, do that. Mike Lyon here. Thanks so much and have a great day.